Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May God bless you all. Today I'm going to talk to you about facing the facts. <clears throat> In our life, there are a lot of facts that we have to face. Whether we, we are happy with those or not. First of all, the Bible tells us that you are very special. Facing the facts about you. What about me? You are you. There is no one else like you. You are special. You are unique. You may wish you were someone else with better looks, with more personality. Oh, yes. And with more money. But take a look in the mirror. You are you. Look at your fingers, at the tips. Your fingerprints set you apart. Then again, no one thinks your thoughts but you. Have you ever thought about the purpose of your life? Who am I? Why am I here? Don't believe you are just a, or a computer with flesh around it. You are much more than evolved slime. God has made you and you have dignity. You have worth and yet be honest. Isn't there a dis dissatisfaction deep within? A restlessness? A yearning which you cannot explain? This is spiritual hunger which people try to satisfy with money or possessions or drink or sex or pleasures. They try, but they can't. The Bible puts it this way. He that is God has also set eternity in the hearts of men, yet they cannot fathom what God has done from beginning to end. That describes in Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11 in the Old Testament. So when we talk about ourselves, we just, first of all, uh, we bring ourselves before us. We see in our a mirror, we see in a mirror that we are different. There are 8 billion people, but we are all different. The, the best and the unique thing make us, what make us unique? What makes us unique than others? Or better than others? If we know the purpose of our life, if we know the end of our life, if we know the facts about life, if we know Jesus Christ, then you will definitely achieve the goal that you are made for. You are created for. And that's what I want to tell you, that let's know ourselves. What are we? God bless you all.